well, welcome back. So tonight, I just felt like having a quick play in my Dina Weekly, my mixed media journal. This page I've had in here, I've been throwing scraps on. I've been cleaning off brushes as I needed to. These are some dilution paints I was rubbing off, and I had these scraps of paper, so I already Mod Podge them down. I have a new sewing machine, so I just went ahead and I was playing with the new sewing machine and practicing my stitches here. So what I'm going to do tonight is I kind of want to go ahead and complete this page. I'm not sure where we're going to go or what's going to happen, but I've seen lately a lot of people using masks similar to this. I know in watching Creativation this weekend, I see uh, Dina Wakely is coming out with some great new ones. And I've seen a couple of people on YouTube using different things where they do the colorful backgrounds and then they put this down and then they black out around it so then you get the color inside of the mask. So I thought tonight I'd have a play at doing that because I thought this would be a great page for it. So I'm just going to grab some paint and we're going to get started and have some fun. So since I already have the blues and creams in it, I'm just going to take my palette. Which you can see needs cleaning and I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit more my favorite blue color there we go this guy did not want to open up for me tonight so I'm just gonna have a little bit of a play I like some of the paper showing through but I kind of want to cover up a little bit more of it I'm really liking how that blue is looking with these other colors. Now this paper here that you're seeing is some of the Tim Holtz collage paper, the tissue paper that comes on the long, um, large strips. And then this was just some old book text I had from a sh old Shakespeare or something I got at a thrift market. So I think that's good for the blue. I'm just going to hit it with the heat gun real quick. tray of foamies. And next, I think I'm going to use my bubble stencil I made, and I just want to add some bubbles, and I think I'm going to try to do those in the purple. I'm going to take this off to the side so when I'm stamping it's not shaking as much. And just to show you, that first color I used was the Bahama Blue by Americana was the blue. Now the purple I'm going to use again, Americana Lavender. And these are just cosmetic sponges. I get these on Amazon in huge packs. And then a lot of people I know use them. They cut off the end, use them, cut off the end. I just rinse them out when I'm done and reuse them a couple of times. So now let's just add some purple back in. Try to do this so it's not shaking you too much. Probably wasn't the best idea to put it over there where I can't reach. Okay. And then I think I want to get some of the purple down in this corner. I'm going to need a little bit more on my palette. <clears throat> so I'm filming this on Monday in Creativation 2018. Cha, and I, I know it goes by another name, but I think the older name is Creativation, has been happening all weekend with uh, Ranger and all the craft companies doing their product reviews and I've been watching them on YouTube and I cannot wait for all the new stamps and stencils and everything to come out. It's going to be such a fun year. There's that. And again, I like odd numbers, but I'm not sure where I'm going to 
maybe just I like that coloring up in that corner so I don't want to cover that just a hint down in this corner and I can see that I did not hide my stencil well enough because I have very tiny chew marks in the corner of my stencil which I suspect my kitten got into my stencil stash he's just leaving love marks okay so that is looking great I'm loving that now let's see I have this stencil from the crafters workshop and I think it's called art is and I want to add a little text on top of this I'm trying to think what color I want to add it in because black may be a little too dark Hmm. But it might just need that. So I'm going to go ahead and add a little black. We'll see how it goes. And again, I'm using the Americana brand. And this is just a really, really great script stencil to kind of have for in the background. And I'm really curious how all this is going to work because this is a canvas, this page. So it'll be neat to see how all the tools I'm used to doing on just my mixed media pages actually turn out in the journal. Oh, that's great. I think we need some in the center to kind of help balance. And then we'll finish off with some down here. Awesome. I'm actually liking this page just the way it is. Hmm. All right, what else to add? So if I end up doing this, where am I going to want it? And one up here. I feel like with these colors, I need some gold. So I'm going to go ahead and this is a gold paint pen. I'm just going to give it a shake. And this one, I'm not sure the brand. It's just called Painter's Opaque Paint Marker Express Yourself Gold. This one I think I bought at Walmart in their craft section because I was just kind of testing it out, wanting to see what it was going to be like. And I think I'm going to grab another stencil to go through this with. I just want to add some fun shapes. So, I always like gold whenever I have teal and purple. It's just something about it. Just adds a little something nice to the page. A little something different. Okay, yeah, that's awesome. Maybe we'll make these ones go this way. This was a fun stencil that I designed because I just wanted some easy doodles that I could color in whenever I wanted to. There we go. I don't know if you guys can see that shine there. And I think we need we have that way, that way. Just toss one or two off the side here. All right, I'm really loving how that page is now. So I think I'm gonna go ahead, because I don't wanna go overboard. I tend to get to a point where I like it and then I start going overboard. Like now I kinda wanna put gold on the purple because I'm obsessed with glitter. 
It happens. I look shimmer. Kind of just give it a little something. Ties it in. There we go. All right. Now for the mask. I think I'm really liking this section down here. So I may do one like this, but now the question is, do I want to use black around it or cream? Because I have the black coffee, but I think it's not going to really show unless I use the black. So I'm just going to go for it. If it's wrong, that's okay. Can we gesso over it and start over again? That's what's fun about working in your journal. You, you can make mistakes and, you know, it's just for you. Get my fingers out of the way so you guys can see what's going on. I'm just fan this out a bit. Some paint on my sponge. And before I started painting, because I knew I was going to get my hands all in this, I did go ahead and I used this, which is Art Guard by Windsor and Newton. I can't remember. I think I got this on Amazon. I was watching and I believe it was Gina Abrams and I apologize if I'm getting the last name wrong, but she talked about this and this is great. It's a barrier cream. So when you know you're going to be getting messy like I am tonight, um, I put this on, then I do all my painting and at the end your hands wash off really easily and it helps protect um, your skin from everything seeping in. So back to this. Let's peel that off. And then let's do another one up here. Maybe this one we'll have coming in this way. My black seems to be drying very quickly tonight on me. We finally got some warm weather back here, so it's a little humid in the house and this stuff is dries quick. You gotta be quick. And maybe just a little hint around the corner here. Oop, sorry, fingers in the way. Try left-handed. There we go. So you guys can still see what's going on. All right. And now I feel like this needs some black down here somehow. So I think, balance it, I may go ahead and just add a little bit of a copy just to kind of there we go awesome so that is my quick little mask page for tonight I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get my pilot multi-ball pen out so that I can sign and date this one because I love it and I really want to remember when I did it And it is writing on the canvas. It's just a little tricky, but it's getting there. There we go. A little harder on the canvas part. Great. So there it is, guys. Slowly. So thanks for so much for following along on this quick little journal tutorial. I hope it gave you some ideas and inspiration. If you liked the video, remember to give it a thumbs up and go ahead and subscribe. And remember, if you're going to subscribe, click that little bell icon next to the subscribe button. So that way you get notifications of when I have new videos coming up. This year I'm going to be trying to do...